again, just thought I'd do another vid on my FM Towns. I ain't got many games for it, so it won't take long. As you can see, that's the original copy of Tatsu, you know. There's a genuine copy. It ain't got the back cover to it, or the big box. It's of course an absolute fortune, and that was pretty tricky to find, if I'm honest. But, uh, there we go, let's load it up. I've got Taste HQ as well, I've done a vid on that, one of my other videos. Nice big box for that. And I've got Splatterhouse as well, but that's just the, the original. It's just a case, not the back cover, but if you uh, if you want to get that with the big box, man, you're talking big bucks and that. But if you've never played this, this is a seriously good game, man. Tattooed, you know, it's fucking awesome. I ain't gonna be able to play one-handed. But, um, it really is the bollocks. Get a bit of volume. I mean, these are like arcade perfect. This machine is just awesome. But the games, like like I said before, man, they're like so expensive. But you can download the ROMs off the internet if you want to do that. But it's not not a thing I really like doing, if I'm honest. But I have done it, so I've got a few up here. Raiden, Turbo 8 one, which is fucking shit. What else? Flying Shark, that's a good game, man. And Twin Cobra. They're pretty good games, like. They're all arcade okay, perfect, to be honest. Like this, Splatterhouse. When it loads. Yeah, I try and play it, but I can't play it one handed. Also, this pad, you can use that on the Sharp X68000, just in case you didn't know. The conversions on this, like for this time, man, it's like amazing. It's like spot on, perfect, perfect arcade conversions. That's right, really. It's got this one in as well. One of my favourite shooters on the old snares, Axley. Well, Super Famicom, I should say. Quality game. And a bit of art fighting free on my Neo Geo. Alright, I'll now be some give you a bit of gaming. Thanks for watching.